This is a huge 150 inch 4K HDR gaming projector and I want to see if it can replace my super expensive OLED TV. If you're looking for a big screen experience, a projector can be a more cost effective solution, especially for anything that is 75 inches and up. The BenQ X3000i costs $1,999 with an adjustable screen that can go up to 150 inches using the manual zoom and focus wheels. This lets you get the perfect screen size for your room or the current content that you are consuming. From my experience, over the years, there is no one-size-fits-all display when it comes to gaming. For example, I prefer a larger display when I'm playing third-person open-world games. It's just more fun and immersive and you can appreciate the details of the world so much better. However, for first-person shooters, I perform at a much higher level if the screen is a little bit smaller so I can see everything around me without needing to adjust my head to look around. An unexpected advantage of using a projector over a TV was the adjustability of the screen size. I could increase it or decrease it depending on the current use case that I was doing. This provided a lot of versatility that you just cannot get from a fixed size TV screen. The BenQ X3000i has everything a gamer needs for an extraordinary gaming experience. With support for 4K 60Hz and 1080p 240Hz, you can enjoy higher resolutions perfect for next-gen gaming consoles as well as high refresh rates if you want to be more competitive in FPS shooters. Now depending on the resolution that you choose to game in, this will dictate the overall latency and input lag. If you set your projector to game mode, fast mode will automatically be applied for seamless control of on-screen movements allowing the video and audio to respond instantly to commands you input with your controller. Input lag ranges from 16.67 milliseconds to 4.16 milliseconds depending on your resolution of choice. For a projector, I think these numbers are pretty impressive, especially if you compare them to similar projectors available in the market. As there are multiple HDMI ports, I can connect both my PS5 and Xbox Series S to the projector, making it easy to quickly switch between game consoles and inputs. When gaming, there are three modes that you can toggle between to adjust the image and color settings, and some of these are pretty useful for revealing detail in the darker areas of the games. Detail adjustment is enabled when game mode is active. You can choose between low or high for this setting. In FPS shooters, I found this setting great for identifying enemies hiding in the shadows. Furthermore, in adventure games like Tomb Raider and Uncharted, this setting was very useful for finding hidden objects and clues for completing the puzzles. Although gaming is a lot of fun with this projector, watching movies is also a great experience. That's because of the impressive color performance of the BenQ X3000R. The 100% DCI-P3 wide color gamut and HDR10 support delivers an incredible image, which is also bright. Inside the box, the X3000i comes with a Google certified Android TV stick. The BenQ QS01 turns your projector into the equivalent of a smart TV, providing convenient access to popular streaming services such as Disney+, Amazon Prime, and YouTube, for example. The TV stick neatly hides away inside of the projector, leaving the other two HDMI ports free for your gaming console or TV box. Using the included remote, you can navigate this Android TV interface to browse and select items within the apps. The remote has a lot of great shortcuts as well. You can trigger Google Voice commands, quick launch Amazon Prime, control speaker volume, and also access a range of projector settings. I've watched a lot of content on this projector over the last month, including the whole series of Tommy and Pamela, The Book of Boba, both available on Disney+, Plus, and also the latest season of Peaky Blinders. I had a lot of fun watching this content on this massive 150-inch screen. It kind of felt like I had my own private movie theater, kind of like those billionaires that live in LA. In addition to this, the massive screen is perfect for sporting and social events. If you have a lot of friends over, you can put the match on the big screen. And because of the great viewing angles, no matter where someone is sat in the room, they can't really complain about not having a great view. The only weakness I would raise are the black levels, and they're not terrible and have pretty good clarity in the shadows. For reference, the BenQ X3000i has a 500,000 to 1 contrast ratio, and when watching 16x9 content, they perform perfectly fine. But the problem for me is the black bars when watching a movie. I think I'm just spoiled by my OLED TVs. Because they have a 1 million to 1 contrast ratio, they have perfect black levels. And this has made me hypersensitive to noticing when these bars are just not a solid black. It did bug me a little bit at the beginning and took me a bit of time to adjust to, but if you've never experienced an OLED TV, then you probably won't even realize this issue. The X3000i does come with internal speakers, which to my surprise were not as bad as I was expecting. In fact, for the first week, this was all I used until I upgraded to something a little more cinematic. There are two 5 watt Trivolo internal speakers. They get pretty loud and easily cover up the fan noise generated by the projector for cooling the lamp and bulb.
release, cramped with loot boxes and microtransactions. I thought my gaming days were over. That was until I bought the Xbox Series S, a cheap next generation gaming console that is perfect. But if you're buying a $2,000 4K HDR projector, you probably don't care about the internal speakers. For connecting external audio, you have a SPDIF connection, perfect for a simple soundbar. But if you want lossless audio formats such as Dolby Atmos, which is the best for surround sound experiences, then you will be pleased to see the support for ARC and EARC on both of the HDMI connections. Using the BenQ remote, you can tweak and adjust your sound modes using the dynamic stereo button. Cinematic will emphasize bass, sports focuses on voices, and FPS enhances surround sound and audio placement effects. It can be overwhelming figuring out how to fit and set up a projector into your living room, as they do require some space. Thankfully, the BenQ X3000i does have a couple of different options if space is limited. Traditionally, the further away the projector is from the wall, the larger the image will be displayed. However, this means that often your projector will end up in the middle of your room, which can make it easy to knock over. With the X3000i, there are ceiling mounting holes to get your projector above the floor, but if you maybe rent your home and you cannot drill into your ceiling, there is keystone support. This lets you place your projector on an angle at the side of your room. You can then straighten the image so it is not distorted when viewing content. This is a good feature, but there are compromises when keystone is enabled, and you will experience higher input lag and latency when gaming. Overall, I do think that this projector could easily replace a TV, especially if used in a dedicated game room that has a dark and moody environment. And going forward for open world or single player games, I will definitely be playing them on this huge 150 inch projector screen. If you want to see another huge gaming display, you should watch this video next, where I review a super ultra wide monitor that is too big for my desk.